Hey guys, welcome back to the Prehistoric Life Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Crawford, and today we're back with another sauropod dinosaur, the Patago Titan. I think that's how you pronounce it. That is my new source. Um, Patago Titan. Patao pe- Patao Titan. Patao Titan. Um, so there it is. As you can see, it's got the Long sauropod neck with a very big body, very long tail. It's more upright like Brachiosaurus. It seems to have some kind of ridge or something on the head. Um, kind of like Brachiosaurus where it breathes through its forehead kind of thing. Um, it seems like the smaller like smaller front feet and very thick, big back feet and things like that. Um, but... Yeah, so there's Patago Titan, and yes, I know, I had to look up another, whatever you want to call it, of Pat- a image of Patago Hi- Titan from Natural History Museum, because the, um, what's it called, prehistoric wildlife page didn't have a lot of information on it, so from what I got, it was about 122 feet long, which is absolutely crazy. And I feel like yeah, Patago Titan was 122 feet long. It weighed about 77 tons. It was about 18 to 20 feet tall. Wow. This thing is massive like i mean massive um it's a herbivore or and it is a large herbivore or titanosaur slash sauropod and there is kind of a difference um its fossils were found in arvent argentina the chubutu chubut province in Sirio. i think i pronounced those right probably not uh, other interesting facts are it lived in tropical climates to possible tundras. It lived in herds of 7 to 20-ish. Uh, the fossil representation, I'll pull up this, um, was partial post-cranial skeleton at least six individuals. So, if you don't know what post-cranial means, uh, that's just basically saying, like, everything past the head. If if that makes sense. <clears throat> so, your body. Um, it, it's basically saying your body. Uh, so... Hang on, I'm trying to move some tabs around without closing out of them. Uh, it was discovered by, or not discovered, it was named by J.L. Carb, Carbaliode D. Pol A. Otero I. A. Cerda L. Salgado A. C. Gurido J. Ramzan, Ramzin, N. R. Cuno, and J. M. Cro- uh, Cross in 2017. So this thing is pretty recent. Um, let's see what this has to say. There's not a lot of information, so I'm basically just gonna read from this. Patago Titan is a genus of uh, Titanosaurian dinosaurs that lived in South America towards the end of the early Cretaceous. So this was one of those very few species that lived during the uh, sauropods that lived during the Cretaceous. Which is very unique. Because North America didn't really have many sauropods. Um, titanosaurs are often known by only a handful of fossils, but Patagotitan has proved to be an exception. At the time of writing, Patagotitan is known from the partial postcranial remains of at least six individual individuals, and these include remains of vertebrate, neck, bone, and tail, 
ribs, shoulders, front and back limbs. A large size of of these bones has led to the to some crediting Pedago Titan as the largest dinosaur ever. But this statement is highly subje- uh, speculative. The original descri- uh, the original describers estimated Pedago Titan to have grown to about 37 meters. Jesus, wow. Though others have suggested less and others more. Further discoveries and studies may well lead to further uh, revisions. So, yeah, this thing is... It's either bigger than Argentinosaurus or slightly smaller. It is a big, 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 big boy. Titanosaurs are not to be trifled with. So it is a very new dinosaur, 2017. So a lot of people I know, including myself, were alive during this discovery. Um, It lived in the Albany, Albane of Cretaceous, which was about... 113 to 100.5 million years ago, give or take all of humanity. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. But, yeah, this thing is... Wow. I mean... It is a very unique time to have that giant size... Especially since I'm putting this thing up against Acrocanthosaurus Friday. Wow. Also, I do have a sound clip. For some reason, some dinosaurs that have been around since the 19th, 19 whatevers don't get sound clips. And that studies, but this new one that was studied in 2017 gets a sound clip. But this thing is massive. There's not a lot of info on it considering of how new it is and how we do have six individuals, but we do not have any, like, we haven't really dug deep into what it is. But, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a listen. Yeah, so very deep bellow, as most sauropods tend to have. Not sauropods, titanosaurus, sauropods. But I personally would like to say there is a dinosaur bigger than Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus, don't get me wrong, one of my favorite dinosaurs because I love me sauropods. I love titanosaurs. I love sauropods. They are spectacular creatures in something that we just found being that big this this like recent is is like just really awesome and i i would like to say that it's bigger because a just another massive unthinkable creature like that is like a really 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 amazing cool concept that i would love to think about and dream out but the likeliness of well if 
Argentina sports can get that big? Why can't something else get that big? If I had to go Titan probably was uh, – I'm going to be at least like one foot shorter than Argentinosaurus. It can't be that much smaller. And, I mean, the only answer is to go out, discover more specimens, talk about these creatures, discuss them, reassemble them, excavate, things like that. And, I mean, that that is kind of the only option because without that knowledge, without that data, you can't really make certain decisions. You can't say for certain on anything. It's just kind of speculative at this point. But having a creature like that would be so, so cool. And, I mean... These things are actually just amazing creatures. And just for whatever, let's see what the Natural History Museum has to say about them. Uh, What am I about to click on? Stop recording. No, stop sharing screen. Patago Titan. Natural history. Okay, yes, fine. I'll accept your biscuits. Um, teeth for stripping for stripping vegetation from branches. Uh, food, tough plant material. How it moved on four legs. Where it lived. Early Cretaceous, one hundred one ish million years ago. Length. I mean, wow, these things are massive. Found in Argentina, of course. Record breaker Patagotosaurus. Um. Ooh. Patagosaurus is one of the largest known dinosaurs, making it also one of the largest land anima- animals ever found. It was far longer, almost twice as tall, and more than three times heavier than Diplodocus. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that gives me some speculation. This thing is massive. Patagotitan is a titanosaur, a type of sauropod. Not all titanosaurs were particularly large, but Patagotitan was. Its thigh bone, its femur, alone was 2.38 meters long. And if you live in America and you use that freedom measurement, that's about seven. That That's basically as tall as like the tallest person. 7.8 feet long. 7.8. Eight feet long. Other contenders for the title of world's largest dinosaur are Argentinosaurus and Paretosaurus, but these dinosaurs are only known from very fragment, uh, fragmentary remains. In some cases, only partial bones have been found, so the size of the rest of the bone has had to be estimated. <coughs> Patagotitan is far more complete and is one whose size is the one whose size scientists can be most sure of. Although different methods of estimate estimating body mass mean there is still some <clears throat> debate over exactly how heavy it was. Of course, it could have more fat. You never really know with these creatures because, I mean... Some whales have very small bones, but have a lot of blubber and a lot of fat. I mean, seals, like you look at their bones, they're kind of tiny. I mean, but they have a lot of blubber, a lot of fat. You never know with these creatures. The most recent um, estimate range is 42,500 to 71,400 kilograms. Kilograms to flip it. We'll do tons. So for 42,500 kilograms is about 46.84 tons to about, wow, this thing is absurdly massive. Um, 78.7 tons. So this thing, how much does a school bus 
weigh. Let's see how much a school bus weigh, weighs. So a school bus is typically 14,000 to 19,500 pounds. Let's see what that is in tons. Okay. Hey, hang on. It's about seven tons. So this thing is, oh my gosh. I just want to show you all this real quick. I, If you don't believe me about the school bus thing, um, how much does a school bus weigh? Boom. 14,000 to 19,500 pounds. Okay. Crazy, right? That thing is... That's the wrong one. I, I just pulled up the same school bus thing again. Hang on. Um, so let's put it at the max weight. 9.75. And just to show my work, so you guys don't think I'm just... Pulling this out of my bum or something. So let's take the... We'll be generous. We'll be generous and put... Patago Titan at its smallest size. 42,500 kilograms. So that's... 46.84... Eh, we'll do 46... Not 46.85 because it's 848 eight and just round up ish. Divided by nine, what was it? 0.75. So this thing weighs more than four school buses. School buses. This thing weighs more than four school buses combined. I. Wow. That's not even factoring in the largest weight. That's being generous and putting it at the smallest weight. Jeez. Louise. I don't... I would hate to have to pick a fight with one of these things. Multiple floods, multiple Patago Titan dinosaurs discovered. I don't know what that was. Patago Titan was found at La Flecha Ranch in Patago in Patagonia, Argentina, since the name, in 2010. When a ranch worker spotted an enormous dinosaur bone poking out of the ground, scientists were brought in to investigate in during digs in 2011 or 2012, 2013, and 2015. They earned, unearthed hundreds of fossil bones belonging to at least six dinosaurs, which died and were buried in three distinct uh, floods. Wow. The species name Maelrum honors the Mayo family, the owners of the ranch, for their hospitality during the field work. Their ranch is still one, the only location where Patago Titan fossils have been found. And that's the taxon- uh, taxonomic details. So it's a dinosauria. Sorosuchia, Sauropoda morpha, Sauropoda, Eusauropoda, Neosauropoda, Macroaria, Camarasauromorpha. So it seems to be like Camarasaurid or like a Camarasaurus slash Brachiosaurid. It's a Titanosauromormus and a Titanosauria. And as I listed off earlier, those are the people that it was named by. And it is a Maorium. Wow. I still getting over this thing at its lowest weight being four school buses. Over four flipping flapping. School bus, 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 buses, school buses at its highest weight, 78 tons. Let's do it at the highest weight. 
of it. Let's see what the the maxed out just max capacitor is. So 71,400 kilograms translates to about 78 point I'll do 71 tons. And then you would divide that by our school bus in tons, which would be 9.75. This thing at max could weigh more than eight school buses. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get stepped on by this thing. I already know I wouldn't get survived if I got hit by a school bus. I couldn't imagine eight school buses stepping on me. Wow. That. Something about the Cretaceous sauropods. They just got massive. Like ungodly massive. And it's impressive. And I'm putting this thing up against Acrocanthosaurus. I don't even think... Sorry to Acrocanthosaurus. I think Patago Titan has this thing in the bag. I, I would have to put this thing up against its natural predator. And then it would... Acrocanthosaurus was a puny 2.2 tons. Versus this thing, 78 possible tons. This thing makes Acrocanthosaurus looks like a little baby. Jesus Christ on a motorbike. I'm stealing that guy's saying. I, um, I don't even... Okay. It. What is it? Like, how many... Pounds of force do you need to break bone? 1,700 PSI. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go. Okay, so that's... Point, that's not even, okay, 1,700, if you don't believe me, for whatever reason, it takes, the force needed to break a human femur is over about, is about 1,700 PSI, or over 1 million, million kilograms per square meter. For smaller bones, a pressure of 25 pounds per... So, okay. So, 1,700 PSI. That's pounds per square inch. Let's keep that in mind. Let's put this thing into tons. That's 0.85 tons. Okay. Let's do a little silly willy math. But let just a, just a little bit just a little bit of just silly silly math so that was 0. 0.85 um let's put it at its max 78.71 tons okay 78.71 divided by 0. 0.85 so this thing if it stepped on you would literally flatten you. Like, not, not once. It wouldn't flatten you once. It would flatten you like 92 times over. You just don't exist anymore. You are literally a pancake. You are gone from this earth. If this thing stepped on you, you are just gone. You are a puddle. I'm putting this thing up against Acrocanthosaurus. I better find some heck and heck, flipping, flapping, crazy bite force for Acrocanthosaurus. You know what? Screw it. Let's let's just do that research right now. Bite force of Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, bite force. Okay, Jaws was while the. 
I can't was studied and compared with 33 other dinosaurs by Simon and according to the results, the bite force of the the jaws was 82,000. This thing can also bite through bone. With the pus, okay, so this thing's got an insane bite force. I feel like that's more than T Rex, though. So I feel like that's BS. No, 35,000 newtons of force. So Acrocanthosaurus does have a powerful bite force, so it could definitely cause some damage with that. Ah, I still think Patago Titan has this one in the back. I can't lie to you. I, I am just flabbergasted at the absolute carnage of a size of this amazing creature. But, hey, if you want to hear more about this and see some – get extra content and things like that, go check out my Instagram. It's at prehistoric life podcast, at prehistoric underscore life underscore podcast. You guys have seen it a trillion and one times now. Um. Uh. If you want to get my content early, I try to post it earlier on YouTube, Prehistoric Life Podcast. That's the YouTube. If you want all of that in one place, I do have a website, prehistoriclifepodcast.com. Go check it out. You can see the last episode, the Madagascar Predator versus the British Spinosaurus, Majungasaurus versus Ripper Revenator, <coughs> or Majungasaurus pulled it out of the bag there it is but till next time where we are putting acroganthosaurus against the literal behemoth that is patago titan the literal godzilla of dinosaurs i i will see you all next time i'm your host eric crawford signing off this has been prehistoric live podcast and remember keep it prehistoric Bye. Thank you.